wow. Okay. <laughs> the Dynamic VCA is the heart of the Micromolt 3100, a unique processing circuit that adds dimension to the audio waveforms. The basic function of the VCA is to control the loudness of the sound over time. This includes turning the sound on and off or subtly changing the output level. The Dynamic VCA is a modern interpretation of Don Buchler's famous low-pass gate circuit and expands on the functionality of a standard VCA. The low-pass gate circuit is unique in the way that it simulates the characteristics of natural instruments. When used in low-pass gate mode, louder sounds contain more harmonic content and quieter sounds contain less harmonic content. This is not the case when using VCA mode. VCA mode simply changes the loudness of the sound without modifying the harmonic content. There is no reason that synthesizers need to simulate how acoustic instruments function, but because of how it affects the harmonic content of sound, a low-pass gate sounds more organic or natural compared to the standard VCA. Don Buchler's original low-pass gate was limited to a static response time that varied from unit to unit. This made each low-pass gate a little different. The Dynamic VCA in the Microvolt 3900 adds a unique analog dynamic response control circuit to the original low-pass gate concept, allowing for customizable gate response times. Low-pass gate response time can be set to anywhere from a short percussive pluck to a longer extended decay. One of the problems with the standard low-pass gate circuit is that you're committed to the length of decay or the ring of that particular part. We've made it possible with the response knob for you to be able to tune the length of that decay over a range of responses so that you can have it any way you'd like. The response knob makes it possible for you to essentially swap out an infinite number of factorals so that you can control the ringiness or the factorialness of the decay of the signal. Sort of like controlling the tightness of the drum head or the length of ring in a hit object. The dynamic VCA section has a lot of controls in a small space, and each plays an important role in shaping the output. The LPG VCA button switches between low-pass gate mode and VCA mode. The Dynamics Response Trim Pot sets the decay time of the low-pass gate. The Pluck button creates a trigger from any sharp signal sent into the Dynamics Modulation Input and allows the Dynamics Response Circuit to create an organic percussive strike with assignable decay. The Input Balance Trip Pot can be used to mix the output of the waveform mixer with another audio signal when a waveform is patched into the Dynamic VCA input jack. If nothing is patched into the input, the Balance Trim Pot is unused. The Dynamics Mod Trim Pot attenuates the incoming modulation controlling the Dynamics level. This control is normal to the output of the envelope generator. When using the Dynamics Mod to modulate the Dynamics level, the Dynamics Slider acts as an offset or starting point for the CV signal. The Dynamic VCA solves two big problems in the Buchla low pass gate. One is that the VCA mode isn't very good, and now we have a very clean VCA. The other is that you're always stuck with a particular decay in the back roll. Well, now we've made it possible for that to be infinitely tuned over a variety of routes. The output of the Dynamic VCA section is internally patched to the output section, which we will be taking a look at in the next video.